I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we are delving into a captivating topic that has intrigued scientists, historians, and conspiracy theorists alike for decades. Why making an atomic bomb is difficult. At its core, an atomic bomb is a weapon of immense destruction capable of obliterating entire cities with a single explosion. The sheer power it holds can reshape landscapes and alter the course of history. So what makes it so incredibly difficult to develop? To come To comprehend the complexity involved, we must start with the key ingredient, nuclear fuel. Creating an atomic bomb requires highly enriched uranium, 235 or plutonium 239, both of which are incredibly rare and significantly challenging to obtain. Separating these isotopes from their more abundant counterparts involves an incredibly complex process known as uranium enrichment. Uranium enrichment is the process of increasing the percentage of uranium, 235 from 0.7% in natural uranium to about 3 to 5% for use in fuel for nuclear reactors. And highly enriched uranium is considered weapons grade when it has been enriched to about 90% U-235. Uranium enrichment is done with help of centrifuges. Iran's pursuit of nuclear power has sparked numerous controversies and debates over the years. While Iran claims its intentions are purely peaceful, many countries have raised concerns about the potential military applications of their program. One of the most notable instances of sabotage against Iran's nuclear program was the Stuxnet cyber attack. Stuxnet was a sophisticated computer worm that specifically targeted Iran's nuclear infrastructure, causing significant damage to their centrifuges. This cyber attack was a joint effort by various countries and intelligence agencies with the aim of impeding Iran's nuclear ambitions. But obtaining the necessary nuclear material is just the tip of the iceberg. Crafting a functioning atomic bomb involves advanced engineering and precision manufacturing. Every component, from the explosive lenses to the implosion mechanism, must be meticulously designed and fabricated to ensure the bomb's reliability and efficiency the tiniest flaw in any part could result in catastrophic failure. As we venture deeper into the complexities, we cannot ignore the extensive safety measures and international laws surrounding nuclear weapons. Governments around the world have imposed strict regulations to prevent the proliferation of atomic bombs. Stringent inspections, surveillance systems, and export controls make it an arduous path for any aspiring nuclear state. This was another impactful method of sabotaging Iran's nuclear program. These sanctions, imposed by the United Nations and other countries, aim to restrict Iran's ability to access resources and technologies necessary for the advancement of their nuclear program. By cutting off their sources of funding and materials, these sanctions act as a powerful tool to hinder their progress. Lastly, but certainly not the least, we must acknowledge the genius factor. The intricate science and mind-boggling calculations involved in designing an atomic bomb require an extraordinary level of expertise. The knowledge necessary to develop such a weapon is closely guarded, with only a handful of individuals possessing the capability to comprehend and execute the complex equations. Assassinations of top Iranian nuclear scientists has hindered Iran from developing an atom bomb. Overall, making an atomic bomb is an extraordinarily difficult task due to various technical, safety, and international regulatory barriers. The complexity of the process, coupled with global efforts to curtail proliferation, serves as a deterrent, reinforcing the importance of maintaining peace and stability in our world.